Everybody and welcome to another video in this video guys going to be showing you guys another tactician build that you guys can be running to solo pier 93 resistance by the time you guys are able to view this video division 2 will had already came out for the beta testing so if you guys have the pass I look forward to seeing you guys in there it is a lot of fun but all more reason for you guys to really be taking the regular division pretty serious right now because it is the the full release of the game is coming out very soon and you want to make sure you got all those division shields unlocked um, so this way it'll roll over your progression will roll over to the division too so getting into this video here like I said this is another tactician build and out of the three builds I've shown you guys so far this one is the easiest one to do and in my opinion one of the most fun so without further ado guys here is my build so I'll be maining the lightweight M4. This will have talented, competent, and determined. Secondary house. This has talented and competent. Of course, card, uh, card counter. Chess piece is rolled skill haste. This has electronics and skill power uh, mods. Face mask, rolled skill power. Uh, the key thing here too, guys, um, that I just want to let you guys know, try and get, I didn't say this in my other videos, which is, I, I think it's pretty important. Depending on what you guys are really gunning for, for your accommodations and whatnot, you might want to switch your minor attributes to uh, increase kill XP. Um, the more increased kill XP you get, uh, the, uh, the more caches that you're going to be able to, you know, when you level up, you're going to get a cache, so... Depending, like I said, depending on the progression that you need for your accommodations, I would I would think about switching some or if not all of your miners to increase kill XP. So face mask is rolled uh, skill power. It has electronics and skill haste. Knee pads rolled skill power has damage to elites. This has electronics and skill power, as well as a 6% sticky bomb explosion radius. Holster, rolled skill haste. Has a 6% sticky bomb explosion radius. Gloves is rolled enemy armor damage with assault rifle damage. It also comes with uh, skill haste, which you need. And then moving on to this backpack. This this backpack is the bread and butter of this build, guys. I this is this is not the well, it's not the first time I've ran with this backpack, but this is the first time I ever took this backpack pretty serious. And when it comes to soloing, I don't I don't think that there's a, a better piece of gear out there for being able to solo with a tactician build than this. Relentless five percent of the damage dealt by skills is returned as healing. That number does not seem very big, but Guys, let me go through a number, a little number crunch here for you. Now, I do use the Seekers in the beginning of the game, like, you know, in the first starting area here. Um, but I would I would recommend using the, uh, the Sticky Bomb once you get up into the hallway. But just using the Sticky Bomb as, you know, like as a reference here, this is actually not updating. It's higher than that. Um, oh, you know what? It's because I don't have stacks on. Okay, so even, even with 1 million, let's say it's 1.1 million, that's, what is that, 50,000 damage? 50,000 healing. 50,000 healing, guys, for one sticky bomb. And this is going to get a lot higher because of your stacks, you know, you know, through your tactician build. That is, that's like, that's a booster shot, guys, right there without, you know, the extra damage. But, and then that's not including your, your stream of healing that you're getting from your turret. I mean, you're, I would say the most healing you're going to get is probably from your turret. But the sticky bomb, I mean, you'll see in the footage here. Um, I'll be, I, I purposefully, by the way, I'll bring myself down to low health because I want to see, you know, what the how how big of an increase this uh, this heal was going to be. But it it was drastic. So, yeah, the um, the healing with this build is is very very good. I, I would highly recommend this build for soloing, for soloing any any anything with uh, the tactician. So, 
enemies the abilities like I said run uh, run sticky bomb uh, seeker mines they still seeker mines still heal you it's just not obviously not for much but you you will still see jumps in your health from healing from uh, the seekers and then of course I'll I'll be running the uh, the support station at least once throughout the round now I don't have to I feel I feel confident now that I've ran this build quite often to where I don't think I even need to run the support station the problem is is that I think I still run it on the uh, on the computer waves um, and on the contamination wave just because I'm a little bit paranoid but I don't the only time I would ever see you ever actually having to use this would be probably on the contamination waves just because the enemies take too long to get to you and by then you're you know you're already burning to death so I mean but yeah if you I, I feel confident though that you probably wouldn't even need a box at, at, with how much you're healing so moving on to the talents this is really important by the way um, because this will help with your healing back uh, chain reaction, so damage multiple hostiles with an explosion to apply 20% more damage from the blast. You're definitely getting that um, with the sticky bomb. Kill a hostile with any explosion to increase explosive damage by 20% for 15 seconds. So this is always going to be on, obviously, because you know we're we're capped out on skill haste. So you're every you're going to have this this uh, this buff every time. So. Theoretically, you're gonna you're gonna have forty percent more damage from your blast of uh, using the sticky bomb. And where I got into your performance mods, make sure at least you have one. But I have two six percent uh, sticky bomb explosion radiuses. That I mean, if you, it, it's easier to explain it like this. If you have both of those performance mods. It doesn't matter which side of the hallway you stick your bomb to. It's going to reach the other side of the hallway, if that makes sense. So, with the area that you know you don't really farm on, with you nor where you normally farm on on Pier 93, it's that's pretty important to have some extra radius with your uh, with your sticky bomb. And then tech support allows you to have your turret up for the the entire round. And then police up. Holy cow! Are you going to be refilling ammo so fast with this build? This will be the build that you'll never have to buy ammo for while uh, while you're inside Pier 93. I guarantee that. You're going to probably be getting four, if not five kills a pop from your Sticky Bomb. I mean, your Sticky Bomb is going to be is gonna be one-hitting almost everybody that's that's uh, that's going to be coming at you. So that's with the talents. I'll, get in, I'll show you guys my, uh, my character sheet real quick. So... Damage to Elite, 16%. Enemy armor damage, 38%. Not that impressive. Um, weapons, headshot damage, 75%. Critical hit damage, 50%. Weapon damage is just shit. Yeah, this the, all for weapons. You're not you're not using your weapon. The only time you're using your weapon is just to... It's just there for show, guys. You're, you're, honestly, your abilities are really what's going to win you this... You know, this make this run even easier. But still, nonetheless, I mean... 401,000 skill power, that's still not that bad. I mean, actually, not, 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 I shouldn't say that's not that bad. That's really good, still, for a build that's not completing a set. I mean, you're using a yellow piece, that's pretty good. We're actually just underneath a uh, skill haze cap. But, yeah, there's, this is a, <laughs> you guys going to have, you're going to have a really, really fun time with this build. Um, so sit back, guys, enjoy the, enjoy the show. And I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comment section below, guys. What what build you guys look uh, that you guys normally run in Pier 93? I really want to hear from you guys. And and please, guys, this is what you guys should be doing right now in the division. If you have not already unlocked all of your division shields for the division two, so there's multiple things that are going to be able to be rolled over to the division two from your division one account. So. I mean, I know everyone's super excited to get into the, the beta testing right now, and I was just on last night, and, and the servers would not stay up. So, I mean, it's while while it's while complications are happening like that, hop in the division, guys. Run a couple of resistance runs, get some more uh, progression going on your on your accommodations. So, because you don't know if you're going to be able after the full release happens from the division two, this stuff might not be able to be rolled over. So, you might only have a limited amount of time to be able to to complete this, guys. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get into the game. But all right, guys, I will see you in the end. Next wave in 20 seconds. Ten seconds until next wave.
20 seconds until next wave. Ten seconds until next wave of hostiles. Next wave of hostiles is beginning. indicate you're going to be dealing with some EMP bursts. 20 seconds until next wave. Hostiles inbound in 10 seconds. EMP blast incoming. remaining. inbound in 20 seconds. Ten seconds until next wave. You must scan the target location.
Next wave in 20 seconds. Hostiles inbound in 10 seconds. Heavily armored enemy inbound. seconds until next wave. Ten seconds until next wave. Hostile wave is imminent.
in five hostiles remaining. Prep yourself for loss of shade tech. Hostiles inbound in 20 seconds. Next wave of hostiles in 10 seconds. objective 20 seconds until next wave ten seconds until next wave scan the target area
seconds remaining for you to complete the critical objective. Get ready. You're going to have to deal with a contamination anomaly. 20 seconds until next wave. wave in 10 seconds. Hostiles inbound in 20 seconds. Next wave of hostiles in 10 seconds. A heavily armored hostile is inbound. One more hot 
Listen.